Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. And look where I am. The helm's deep and it's raining. Looking out over to the orcs. I have to say this. I have to say this. In this situation. And so it begins. Yeah. Alright guys. I'm on the Dark Time server. Dark Time Server is a Lord of the Rings mod server for content creators, YouTubers, uh, you know, live streamers. And I have been invited here, and it's a, been a great honor. So, uh, I would like to tell you, the other people who are on the server, I want you to follow and subscribe to all of them. The one who runs it is Wozat. And we got the Smile BC, Sir One, Inditorious, Shadows Emissary. The Witch King, Olinus 10, Nov BL, Hamid, and um, the person you might have heard of on here that is the Lord of the Rings mod guru, Mind of Mike. Subscribe to them all, watch their videos, and keep up on their side of the thing. So let me tell you uh, what the plan is for this server. So you might be wondering what the uh, server is all about. Basically, we all chose different factions, and basically what are we what we are doing is making the faction strong, hiring troops and stuff, and we're going to go at war at each other. And I have chosen the faction of Rohan. That's why I'm at Helm's Deep, which is not a build that was uh, created on the server. It was pasted into the server, into the Lord of the Rings mod. So I won't really go through what the build looks like because we didn't actually create it. And each week or each video that I am going to make, I'm going to show off a different build that's on the server. And so this week it is Helm's Deep. So let me uh, show you what we are going to do here and show you a little bit about what this Lord of the Rings mod is all about. So I'm back here near the stables where I have put all my stuff that I have squandered so far. I've been going around Rohan looking for places to build a fort so because i am not actually going to stay at rohan yeah i mean helm's deep yes it would be a beautiful war at helm's deep but i would need thousands of troops to protect this place because this place is pretty huge and i don't know if i can actually do that because i am not a master at the lord of the rings mod like some of these other people so i'm gonna build a um um a fort or a castle somewhere and I can protect, um, that will give me a better chance of surviving. So what I've been doing is I've been going around Rohan looking for forts, looking for, you know, swords and stuff that I can steal from other people. I've got a whole bunch of large pouches. Um, look at all this stuff. And there's a bunch of stuff that you can do here. There's coins, there's, um, so you can buy the, the, uh, troops that you need. And you get the coins by doing quests or killing, uh, particular things. Um, Olanus 10 gave me the wood elven um, armor. And the reason why it's important to have the different armor, different armor gives you different things. The wood elven army makes you faster, so you actually can run faster. So each one has its strengths. The Gondorian armor is a stronger armor, which is harder to destroy and it is also stronger and protects you better than say what I'm wearing because what I'm wearing is kind of like leather armor I guess but strong leather armor stronger uh, than normal. Let me show you some things here that are different about this than other things. Um, we have the Hobbit oven so you could throw a whole bunch of food in here like this and it will cook it up instead of doing one piece at a time it will do nine pieces at a time and over here same sort of thing you can put an eight pieces of uh, metal in here and it will cook it up and if you have tin and copper it will make bronze for you. This is a, um, a, a special forge, alloy forge, forge, I can't speak. And there's my <laughs> Gondorian armor and yes we can drink here, we can get nice and drunk. I haven't figured out what the horn is for. Uh, on the first die here, will that let me take a four leaf clover because those are special. And there's different ores here, like orc steel. And from my understanding, if I made uh, tools with orc stuff, it is a lot stronger than uh, normal. See, uh, this is melee 10.5, 8.5. This is melee damage 12. And, you know, it's pretty good. And 
So each each armor and each thing has its different pluses and minuses. Grab this food now that it's cooked. Also these banners. See, oh, seeing that I am Rohan, if I were to make a gold block and put this banner on top of the gold block, it would protect a particular area of mine. So nobody else could be able to destroy any blocks or steal anything from a chest. They wouldn't be able to open the chest at all. So I, it is good to get a whole bunch of uh, banners and place them around your fort or your castle or whatever to uh, protect yourself from the evil things that are going to happen in the future. As is, I was doing a live stream the other day and I am kind of upset because I had zero deaths on here and doing the live stream it kind of shows your position. See, it shows where I am in Helm's Deep, and they were watching the live stream, and they came after me, and they killed me, so I have a death. Uh, uh, it doesn't really matter. It was actually quite fun, because uh, it was kind of like a little haze, and um, the thing I was upset with at first was I thought they were going to keep my stuff, but they were generous enough to give me back everything I had on me, because I was in the process of raiding Rohan, and I had like five bags of holding filled with a whole bunch of stuff. But anyways, I am going to go uh, check out some forts and stuff, and I'm going to take you for a ride and show you what I mean when I am checking the area out. That. And this is what we're going to do. Last time I was out here, I um, I rode from Wood Hall down to Eastmark. So what I'm going to do is fast travel to Eastmark and ride my way towards Eastfold, then work my way back here. So that's the plan right now. So um, there's something on here that's called fast travel. You can only do it every once in a while. Um, it really helps because this world is so huge. Um, and it's a good way to travel to places. Um, but you can only fast travel to biomes that you've been to. So I want to go south. Let's see. Southwest. South, southwest. We're going to go this way. And... Uh, of course it's raining. All servers tend to have rainy areas. And what I do is I look for these types of builds. And... There's she. I'm gonna go up and check to see if... Oh, I forgot to bring my bags of holding. That's kind of gonna be a pain in the butt. Because I, I need uh, the extra inventory space. Because there's usually a lot of good stuff that I need. And I always take these. I know there's a way to make them, but I like to take them. Anyways, ouch. I'm here, horsey, horsey. Stop running away. And um, I'll be back when I find something more interesting than one of those towers. I love the different biomes they have. It goes from something like that. Even though I'm still in Rohan, it goes to this dark, danky looking, oh my god, the place is caught on fire type look. <laughs> um, Rohan has a whole bunch of different uh, looks for their areas. And they have these guys every once in a while. They have quests, but I'm not really doing the quests yet. I'm able to, like, hang out with the Yurikai because I have yet to kill any. So I have no, um, my, my level against them is not bad. So they don't want to attack me yet. But eventually, I will be killing these guys to get ranked better in Rohan. But they are not angry with me right now. And that's a good thing. So I can travel through the world without having to really worry about being attacked by mobs. So I've come up onto a fort, a Rohan fort, and these are um, initially what I was going to have my uh, world in. And I'm going to just raid this fort and I'll show you if there's anything interesting in here. But there's a lot of good things that you can possibly get in here. Sometimes it's kind of a waste of time, but you have to check it out because you never know when you're going to find more bags of holding and stuff like that. And there's these guys that you can trade with, but I do not have a plus 50 yet on the Rohan side, so he's not willing to trade with me yet. He just kind of says, uh, stop jumping up and down so I can read your stuff. Okay, don't. He's just kind of saying, basically, um, come back to me when you're more of a friend of Rohan. These are the best places inside the fort, which is a little stable, and they tend to have a lot of the banners that you want and other things that... Uh, is good, oops, for getting around, oh, should I take, yeah, I'll take that straight, why not? Because these banners are incredibly important for each faction to have. Remember, always close the door. When you see these uh, guys with the exclamation point above their head, 
Actually, this one's a girl. She's got boobies. Uh, you can click on them, and it says, bring a seven cooked chicken. And when you give them the chicken, your, um, your level of the faction will go up, and uh, will make you be more of a friend of Rohan's. But, like I said, I'm still kind of waiting for that. Ooh. Barrel. Moderate ale. I don't know why that was on the ground. The main reason for going across Rohan is to find trading halls. People I can trade things to. Um, I have found a couple of people that will trade for iron, which is great because I have a bunch of iron. Um, but ultimately, I want to be able to sell a whole bunch of stuff to th these guys that trade and um, make a lot of money. But I haven't really seen that many good trades yet in Rohan. I know there's certain towns and stuff around the um, country and the different uh, areas that have uh, places you can trade, but I don't know where they are like these other guys are, so I'm kind of at a disadvantage with that. That's why I just continue to loot my stuff and uh, hopefully I get good stuff. Every once in a while you'll come across two factions fighting each other that you have nothing to do with, and this is Rohan I'm attacking some sort of orc guys. What do you think we would? Ooh, the horse one. <laughs> You can always come back and steal some of their stuff. And look at this. There's another uh, fort over here. And one of these um, these things right here. I'm going to try and... Jeez wheeze. There's major fighting going on. Oh, I thought this was a well. Hmm. Is there anything in here? Probably not. But I am going to um, raid this place and continue. I've made it to the road next to Alberg in the Eastfold, and now I'm going to just ride down this road all the way over to this area and continue collecting. And when I'm done, I'm going to go to my secret place in the Misty Mountains, and we're going to try and get some Ithril. So I'm going to head back to Helm's Deep, and then I'm going to head towards the Misty Mountains. This should be fun! Even though we are in Rohan, this is an interesting build. Oh, it's a beacon! That's right, these are the, the famous beacons. I forget that they come through. Um, I'm gonna get this, some Gondor stuff here. Oh, let's get this. We, gotta, we might as well steal the Gondor flag and still wonder. Oh my gosh, let's hit it with a pick! I love the Gondor. Um, I was gonna do Gondor. <laughs> I was gonna do the Gondor faction. My horse is all the way over there already. But, um... <clears throat> because I love this white. This white is awesome. Yeah. This, this this is awesome. Um, but... I think Rohan is everybody's favorite. Because I did ask people and everybody was like, Rohan! Be Rohan, not Gondor! And I'm like, okay, I'll let it up to you guys. Um, but yeah. I really love that white gondor brick that's amazing and that's one of those beacons you know what i'm talking about if you know anything about the movies and stuff but we're still on our way home so i'm just gonna keep on raiding stuff as i go so i'm done um exploring the rohan area for the most part and this is like everything that i've gotten um i've shown you that before let's steal some coal no i'm not gonna steal some coal but it's time to go towards my mine so this is my mine, um, in the Misty Mountains, it's nice and cool here, gotta wear lots of nice warm clothes, and um, let me show you the stuff I've gotten, there's a lot of um, strip mining I've done here to get a bunch of stuff, and I'm gonna go and do a couple more strip mines and do a little fast travel, but I'm gonna just, I'm trying to get mithril, and I have yet to get any mithril, but, um, I'm getting a lot of other good stuff. So, we got all these emeralds, all this iron and stuff, and all the woods, and I'm cooking up some stuff now. So, I'm gonna do a, uh, another couple of these strip mines where I got the poke holes, and hopefully I will find some mithril, and I'm gonna speed it up. It's gonna be a little, um, time lapse.
As you see, I've done lots of mining, lots of mining to find mithril, and I have found none. And you know what I have decided to do? I have decided to come to the Barrow Downs. And uh, if you search these downs, um, a lot of them do have mithril things. Not a, not a huge amount, but, ouch, some of them do. But they also have these guys, which kind of... Which you don't want to be messing with either. I'm talking about that thing over there. But um, yeah, I've been doing a little bit of um, searching in here, and I have found a couple of pants and some shoes of mithril, and I have been putting the torches on the ones I've raided, so. Um, I know, oh, come on, dude. So I know um, which ones I have actually raided. These guys are just annoying. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, yeah, it, it seems like a much better way to get uh, mithril than caving right now. So I'm gonna attack some of these. Let me go in one that I haven't raided yet. It's been a couple of days since I've been out here. This one is not raided. And what I do is I throw a torch here, and I throw a torch on the end. Oh, I threw a torch on the inside. This one's been raided. Okay. This one did not have a torch. Maybe Mike raided that one because uh, I think that's what he did. He put torches on the inside. I don't know if that was this season. Ah, uh, okay. I will get back with you when I find one that has not been raided. One thing that's pretty good about being out here is this stuff. Atlas. I was really surprised. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down, sir. Um, I was really surprised that there was Atlas out here. Do not make me hit my horse. Um, because, you know, I kind of figured this is an evil area. And, you know, this is... Not the best place for elven type stuff, I guess. I don't know. I just wasn't expecting it. So here we go. I'm going to uh, show you what happens. This is a uh, dagger, so this is the first time I'm trying it, and it doesn't seem like it's that great. <laughs> oh, who gave me a dagger? Yeah. It gave me a couple of daggers. And we go in. Oh, I was thinking that was a chest plate. Silver... So these things are rather worthy of um, attacking. So I'm going to do a few more, and if I sh get any mithril, I will show you.
as you saw, I raided a whole bunch of those, and I raided probably five or six times more than what you have seen in the video. It's just I can't have 20 minutes of me raiding Burrow Downs. And I did, didn't really get any extra from the last clip other than this extra last long lasting mithril warhammer which um the oops which the power is really good the speed's a little slow the reach is good and the knockback is good it is probably the best thing i have now but i got to find out how to reforge these to make them last a little bit longer but this is the end of the video and i will say i am extremely happy to be on this server and I'm sorry that it has taken so long to get this first video out because of Hurricane Irma and all the other stuff that's been going on. But these should be coming out regularly every week, week and a half. So, I look forward to the next episode, which I have learned will be a special one. But I'm not going to be giving away any clues to what it will be. All I know is you guys will love it. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much. Oh boy.